Okay, folks, getting into the banana art craft, to getting the real picture and the process, I have to decide a few things. One, I have to get the raw material. Where do I go for that? And two, there are certain things that is needed to put the ideas and the pictures together. For instance, I have to think about something around me and picture it in my head with the leaves, these dry leaves, to use these dry leaves. Remember, this is just a waste material. And two, I have to start to design my thoughts so that I can produce a picture that is impressive and of quality that would impress the world. So, I have to get into some designing, learning how to draw things. And it take me some time to do that. It wasn't easy, but trying and trying and changing and rearranging, I can come up with ideas. For instance, if I use this material to get a banana tree, I would have to get the different colors. For instance, this is like one color. So I have to go and search for it. And put it where I want it. Remember, when I go out in the field, there are different shades and tones and textures that I have to get to present my ideas, to present my pictures. But in designing, I have to design the picture that I want more than once. First, I have to put it down as a basic template. Then I have to go and do that again to use it to draw on the banana leaves. So it takes me some time. But one of the most difficulty, I must say, is understanding the quality of these dry leaves and the colors and the textures and the tones and the shades. So over a period of time, it takes me like this to get one particular picture close to perfection. For instance, this turtle is what I produce from the natural banana leaves, the dry banana leaves. The turtle, there are different shades and tones and textures. And over a period of time, I have to develop a sense of effect and making it real, making it impressive in order to impress you, my viewers, or potential buyers. So that when you put it up in your house, you will feel proud and dignified about buying my product. So it takes real time to put this together. During my journey also, I need certain things to put that design together. For instance, I need things like gel pen. I need a pencil to design. I need paper. I need glue to stick it together. I need a frame to put it on. And several different things. So all these things are involved in the production of the banana art craft. So after I get my ideas, I start working on it. And in working on it, it helped me to develop a certain amount of expertise or experience. And then I cannot produce one item. I have to produce several items. So I have to go and think and design different things to impress because this is a competitive world. But the bottom line is the banana art craft, the raw material is waste material. And if you recycle it, lots of things can be done. And it's a very strange material because although it's an African traditional art, Africa shared that with the world. 
So it's my time now to impress you with my creativity and innovation. So remember, this is the final product. And this is my waste material I work in. And I'm taking you through the journey of that and educating you and fulfilling you with the knowledge. So I want you now to rush and subscribe or like or comment on my special story that is extraordinary.